And yes, I'm back, housemates, and we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kapamilia, all over the world, it is another Wednesday morning here in the Philippines. Ako po si Kuya Robbie, not Tito, okay? And I welcome you to our Mathdali Live School at Home edition. Let's begin our Mathdali lesson for today. Natuto po tayong hanapin ang common factors ng mga numbers sa tulong ng divisibility rules for numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Ang dami, no? At saka mas napadali ang ating buhay dahil sa mga rules na to. Gagamitin natin to to solve word problems. Tan, tan, tan! Okay? Yup, tama ang inyong narinig. Problem solving ang usapan natin ngayong araw. Alam kong overwhelming kapag nakikita tayo ng mga word problems. Pero lahat ng problema tulad ng sinasabi natin dito, may solusyon. Kaya naman, makinig ng mabuti sa ating math-daling diskusyon. Okay, simulan po natin ang usapan with this simple word problem. Ang Domingo Elementary School, yan, that school is conducting a tree planting activity. All grade 5 boys are expected to plant 50 seedlings and the girls are to plant 30 seedlings. They will plant the seedlings in such a way that the trees will grow in equal numbers per row. What is the possible common number of trees in each row? Daming mga detalye, pero importante na makuha natin yung mga kailangan lang natin. Parang buhay lang yan eh. Dami nang dyan. Uh, importante. What matters the most are the integral elements. Okay. Bago natin isolve ito, natatandaan nyo pa ba yung steps na sinusundan natin to solve a word problem? Ito. Try to understand the problem, okay? Um, let's understand. Mm-hmm. Devise a plan. Execute the plan. And look back and reflect. Hmm, dami kasi na parang buhay lang yan eh. Understand, plan, solve, check, and look back. Gets na? Gets ko na. Ah, okay, very good. Let's solve the problem using our step-by-step process. Step one, let's understand the problem. Intindihin muna natin yung problema ang binigay sa atin. Ano nga ba yung nahanap at ano yung mga detalye yung ibinigay? Kung babalikan natin yung problem, ang hinahanap sa problem ay yung common number of trees in each row. Pero ilang seedlings ba meron tayo para mahanap ang common numbers? Meron tayong 50 at 30. Ngayon, mas klaro na ang kailangan lang pala natin hanapin ay yung common factors ng 50 tsaka ng 30. Yun lang yun. Now that we understand the problem, Tumungo po tayo to step number two. Device a plan. Ano nga ba yung method o procedure na maaari natin gamitin para makuha yung um, common factors ng uh, 50 at 30? Anong pwede? Hmm, sige nga. Listing method muna. Pwedeng listing method. Okay? Bago tayo pumunta dun sa divide-divide na yan, listing method yung pwede natin magaw- magawa. Now, let's proceed to step number three. Execute natin yung plan. Solve na natin. Ano nga ba yung factors ng 50? Siyempre, may nakamadali. 1 at 50. Pag madali natin mahanap ang iba pang factors ng 50 sa tulong ng divide, divisibility rules. Ang 50 ba ay divisible by 2? Yes, dahil ito ay even number. So, ang 2 ay factor ng 50. Ang kapair ng factor ng 2 to get 50 ay 25. Next, let's have 3. Ang 3 by factor ng 50 or is 50 divisible by 3? Newbie loves you. Yan. Hindi. Well, I love the newbies. Pero <laughs> the newbie loves us, hopefully. Pero ang 3 ay hindi divisible by, or 50 is not divisible by 3. Kasi, hindi zero yung remainder natin. How about four? 
Divisible ba ang 50 by 4? Hindi rin. Ang 5? Yes. Dahil lang 50 ay nag end sa 0, making it divisible by 5. At ang compare nitong factor to get 50 is 10. O, meron pa ba kayong naisip na iba pang factors ng 50? Ha. Huh. Isipin ko lang. Parang wala na, no? Wala na. Kung wala na, ang factors ng 50 ay 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. <laughs> How about 30? Ano ba yung factors ng 30? Pinakamadali, once again, ay 1 and 30. Ano pa? Let's have our divisibility rules. Ang 2 ba? Factor ng 30? Yes. Dahil ang compare nito ay 15. 2 times 15, 30. How about 3? Factor ba ng 30 ang 3? Yes. 3 times 10, 30. Ang 4? Hindi, no? Cannot be. Cannot be. Parang kayo ng crush mo. Ah, sakit. Eh, ang 5. Yes. 5 times 6. Pwede. Meron pa ba? Hmm. Wala na, no? Bukang nakumpleto na natin. Kaya yung factors ng 30 ay 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Now that we have factors for 50 and 30, nalista na natin, no? Makikita natin ang common factors nila ay 2, 5, and 10. Ibig sabihin, to make sure na may common number of trees per row, pwede tayong magtanim ng 2, 5, or 10 seedlings per row. Okay, no? Galing! Naintindihan na natin yung problema. Nakagawa na tayo ng plano. Nabigyan na natin ng solution. Pwede niyo bang i-comment ko ano nga ba yung pang-apat na step? That is right, boys and girls all over the world. We need to check and look back. Yeah, let's check if 50 and 30 are divisible by 2, 5, and 10. 50 divided by 2 is 25. 50 divided by 5 is 10. 50 divided by 10 is 5. Check na, check na, check. Panalo. Check. Look back. <laughs> okay. Let's look back on uh, our um, 30. No? 30 divided by 2 is 15. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 30 divided by 10 is 3. Check na, check na, check. Mm-hmm. Panalo. Nakuha niyo ba ang sagot? Let's have another example. Now, si Jin is willing to give a reward to whoever guesses his age this year. Ito talaga si Jin, no? Mabigyan lang tayo ng problema. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go back to Jin. His clue states that it is divisible by 12, a multiple of 9, and that he is less than 51 years old. Kaling, daming mga parameters. Now, question is, ilang taon na si Jin? Let's solve this by following the steps in solving word problems. First step is, understand. Naitindihan natin na ang hinahanap na problema or hinahanap sa problema natin ay ang edad ni Jin. At ang binigay namang detalye, divisible by 12, multiple of 9, and less than 51 years old. That is good. Ang dami nating limitations, kaya matutukoy natin kung ano nga ba yung eksaktong age niya. Next, let's plan. Yan, yung tatak ng magaling. Yung nagpa-plano. Tsaka yung may plano para sa atin. Hindi lang basta-basta sa Saba. Ano to? Playground? Ay, okay. Babalik tayo sa math. Ano nga ba yung strategy na gagamitin natin? Hmm. Hmm. Since kakaunti lang naman yung mga numbers less than 51 na divisible by 12 and multiple of 9, eh, bakit hindi na lang natin subukan yung listing method and elimination? Okay? Let's have that one. Mm-hmm. Ano nga ba? Listing method and elimination? After that, gagawin natin. I-solve na natin ang problema. Third step, solve the problem. Alam natin less than 51 years old lang si Jin. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin maghanap mula 1 to 50 na numbers na 
divisible by 12. That's 12, 24, 36, and 48. Four numbers na yun. At nabanggit din natin na ito ay multiple of 9. Sa apat na numbers na nakuha natin kanina, we can eliminate the numbers that are not a multiple of 9. Tulad ng 12, 24, at 48. So, dahil naiman yung 36, posibleng 36 nga yung final answer. Let's uh, check para sure tayo. Is 36 divided by 12? Check. 36 by multiple ng 9? Check na check. Is 36 less than 51? Check na check na check. Klarong klaro. Si Jin ay 36 years old. I think 20 years older than me. Yes. Nakuha niyo ba yun? Kung nakuha niyo, then please give yourself a big round of applause. <laughs> At this point, let's see kung gaano niyo um, nakuha yung ating uh, word problems. It's time for Math Elite Quiz Time. Ito yan. Ito, kaibigan ko ito eh. Close friend ko. Harry Styles needs to set up 20 chairs for a mini concert. He wants to put the same number of chairs in each row with no chairs left. How many chairs could he put in a row? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it A, 3, B, 5, C, 6, or D, 9? 20 seconds. Go. Claro, claro. Same number of chairs in each row. Let's apply some divisibility rules. Time is up, you guys. Here we go. Correct answer is... Galing talaga. Basta Harry Styles. No? Letter B. Letter B. Five. Hindi <laughs> po si Harry Styles yung kumanta nun. Although, baka nakanta niya in his lifetime. But... 20 is divisible by 5. Nakuha niyo ba ang uh, correct answer? Yes. Number 3. Right or wrong? Minerva wants to put 124 toys into different donation boxes. She decides to put 10 toys each in each box so there's so that there wouldn't be any lo- leftover toys. Can I say that again? Right or wrong? Minerva wants to put 124 toys into different donation boxes. She decides to put 10 toys in each box so that there wouldn't be any leftover toys. Is it right or wrong? 20 seconds, go. 124. 10 toys. Para walang leftover. This is so easy. So easy for you guys with our divisibility rules. See, si baby, may sinabi pang solution, no? Oh, pwede. Just like my Ninang, the correct answer is wrongness. <laughs> wrongness. Dahil 10 is not divisible by 124. Ibig sabihin, no? Kung 124, tapos tig sa 10, may may iwan pang apat. 120 lang. Mm-hmm. So, hindi siya sakto. Para no toys left behind. Ano ba yung mga divisible numbers ng uh, 1, 2, 4? Could be 1, tag isa-isa. Bahala ka dyan, ang dami. 2, pwede. 4, 31, 62. Or isang malaking box, 1, 2, 4. Eto naman, tingnan natin. 140, grabe ka naman. It's stiff. It's stiff, grabe ka. Let's have item number four. Ito, medyo mahirap. Two ropes are 16 meters and 12 meters long. The ropes are to be cut into pieces of equal length. Find out the longest common length for both pieces. Mm-hmm. Is it A4, B8, C12, or D16? Mm-hmm. Longest common length. Common length, huh? I think this is GCF. Greatest common factor. Kaling ng mga word problems. This is one problem. Actually, kung kayo ay sasabak sa entrance exams, ito yung isa sa mga matinding titingnan. Word problems. Okay, let's 
have the answer. The correct answer is letter A. It's four. So to solve this, list down natin yung ating mga factors. Oh, sorry. It's 16 and 12. Factors ay, ng 16 ay 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Habang ang 12 naman ay 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. At yung common nun, yung circle natin, it is 4. Yep, 4 meters. Alright. Galing, no? Oh, teacher Mafi. Grabe ang stock knowledge ni Kuya Robby. I think it's just stuck right there. <laughs> Hindi siya stuck. It's just stuck. Mm-hmm. And that's good. Kasi dito kami. Para ipaalala sa inyo yung mga knowledge na nandyan lang. Na stuck. At kailangan natin i-unlock ulit yan. Dahil importante importante ang ating kaalaman mm-hmm. sa buhay. Okay? Let's show some love right here. Oops. Oops. Long-term memory. Ganda. Basta may memory. ba? Pero sa lahat ng mga nandito ngayon, maraming maraming salamat. I think I love the word problems. Kaya ipapagpatuloy po natin ang ating word problems next week. Tanong. Pilipinas, game ka na ba? Game na game na. Again, um, sa lahat po ng mga nanonood, abangan po ang pinakabagong interactive feature sa Knowledge Channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 4 to 5.40 p.m. Real time po na pwede kayong makisagot sa mga katanungan tungkol sa mga video lessons na ipapalabas sa grade 10 block natin. Mat malalaman nyo kung tama ang sagot nyo live na live dahil tandaan nyo guys andito kami para sa inyo at andito tayo dahil at para sa isa't isa okay once again I'm your homie here Robbie thank you so much for having us right here sa ating Math Dali Live School at Home Edition lagi nyo tatandaan huwag matakot sa math dahil isip plus syaga equals Mat Dali. Okay? Love you! Easy plus the guy equals Mat Dali.